Jupiter on the line. And so our call ahead seating says we're going to Jupiter. I like that. And speak with Bill. Bill, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good, Steve. How are you? And by the way, this is Jupiter on the planet Earth, not uh, not Jupiter out in the... <laughs> well, well, you've, anyway, you've, I'm, dis, I'm disappointed because you were going to be our first call from <laughs> Jupiter, um, you know, but but we will settle for Jupiter, Florida, because that is a great okay. place to live. Have you been there for a long time? I uh, have. Yeah, we've been here. Well, I've been in Florida 30 years, been in Jupiter a little over 10. Yes. Great okay, place. Yeah. We love it. Yeah, that is a, that is a great place. So uh, you want to take a look at gold on your planet, Jupiter. Tell us what you're doing, how we can help you. Uh, well, I know that you're, you know, you kind of specialize in gold, so I just wanted to get sort of your take on gold. And by the way, your analysis on the indices is exactly, I'm, yeah, I'm training a mechanical system, not doing well today because we don't have any direction and we're, we'll get pretty choppy. So, yeah, your analysis is spot on. So I'd like well, to good. just hear your analysis on on uh, gold, if I could, and then I'll send you an email afterwards, and maybe we can connect later on. Sure, sure, sure. My analysis on gold, uh, my analysis on pretty much any commodity, or is is it's really all about is first trying to identify where the natural buyers and sellers are. And the way that we do that, or the way that I do that, is take a look at gold expressed in both euros, yen. I say both really expressed in euros, yen, Great British pounds, and U.S. dollars. And that's a screen that is up on, on my, uh, uh, that, that's what's on my screen right now. And in order for gold to have a huge run to the upside, the traders in those currencies need to see gold having momentum, breaking out above resistance, above prior swing points, things of that sort. And uh, it looks fairly good right now with regard to gold priced in euros. We kind of have that little V-shaped bottom. Uh, gold priced in yen, you know, has shown us that there was a significant bottom way back in the trading day of uh, August the 16th. And gold expressed in pounds, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks, you know, pretty good out here. So if it's going to be good in breakout, then we can come back and take a look at uh, gold priced in dollars, Bill. And it doesn't get much easier than this. If we utilize the support or resistance levels of our TAS market profiles, the weekly ah. resistance level is 1233.80. But we got a brand new box a few days ago, which is 1236.90. If gold closes over 1236.90, and is continuing to move up inside of euros, yen, and uh, pounds. There's nothing to hold it back from actually making a move all the way back to the highs in the middle of June in the 1320 level. Of course, we have to take this one step at a time, but that says another $100 to the north would be very possible. So that's what I see right now. We're about to go to a hard break. If you've got another question, just hang on, and we'll go back to you when we get back from this break. Terrific. All righty. Well, so we'll uh, be back with Bill and Jupiter taking a look at uh, gold. Of course, the better investment, if gold's moving higher, are the miners. Hope you're right back. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, now, before we go back out to Bill and Jupiter, I, I just want to clarify one thing that I said, uh, in, which is that, hey, if gold is made a bottom, the better investment would be the uh, mining sector. And the chart, uh, Bill, that's on my screen, if you're catching this, shows the reason why. When gold does form a bottom and it does move higher, the rate of change inside the mining equities outperforms anywhere from two or three to five fold to one. And if we take a look at the bottom that recently formed in gold, which would be 46 days ago, and I just apply my rate of change tool, what we can see is gold's had a rate of change of about 3.5%, whereas the XAU is up in the 10.5% range, and the HUI, I'm sorry, the HUI is 10.5%, and, and the XAU is about 7.5%. So that's my analysis on gold. But uh, what questions does that pose for you? Several, Steve. So I, I heard you say CAS. So you are using CAS as one of your tools. Yes. And your time frame, Steve, are you, how do you, I mean, do you do intraday trades? Are you more of a swing trader? What is your, what is your trading style? 
So my trading style is based upon different accounts out there. So some are long term okay. and some are shorter term. So it just really depends. And inside the newsletter, it's not intraday trading other than I provide the uh, TAS market profiles for multiple instruments so that clients that do intraday trading understand where there's support and resistance. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I, I yeah. appreciate the information. I will send you an email and, and okay. look forward to connecting. Okay, that sounds great. Thanks for calling. That was Bill in Jupiter, Florida.